Have you ever wondered how to color code your Photoshop menus to make things easy to find? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Do you ever find it hard to find things in your Photoshop menus? Well, I'm going to show you today how to color code your Photoshop menu items to find things very quickly and easily, and also how to clean up your menus. There's a lot of things in the Photoshop menus that you may never want to use. You can hide those items. I'm going to also show you how to do that today. Before we get started, I want to tell you about something big right now, and that is Topaz Labs have a Black Friday sale going on, and boy is it a doozy. Right now, you can save 25% off Gigapixel, Denoise, and Sharpen AI, which is a really good deal. Plus, if you use my promo code, David Kelly, at checkout, you'll receive another 15% off, so that's amazing. If you want to get Video Enhance AI, that's a normally... $299 program. You get that right now on sale for $99.99. That's $200 off. Plus, you can take another 15% off of that with my promo code David Kelly. Now, I will provide my affiliate links in the description below this video. It'll take you right to the sales. And also, you can get the image quality bundle, which gives you Sharpen AI, Gigapixel, and Denoise AI all together 60% off. That's a $259 bundle and you get it for $99, which is crazy. $99.99. Pretty amazing deals. And when you click on my affiliate link and use my promo codes, I make a small commission and it helps me to keep these tutorials coming your way. And I want to thank you for doing that. But take advantage of these savings if you want to get any of this great software from Topaz. And by the way, also coming up this Black Friday, and this sale runs from Friday till Monday, November 29th is Tony Kuiper's Black Friday special. So you can get the TK8 panels and any videos on Tony's site and you'll save 25%. You'll just have to use my promo code DK25. And I really appreciate when you do that. I will provide links for you for that sale this Friday when I put out my upcoming TK Friday video. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait till uh, TK Friday and I put out my new video. I'm excited. So take advantage of those special uh, Black Friday sales. And also I have links to all the Black Friday sales for all of my affiliates in the description below this video. But let me show you how to color code your Photoshop menus. This will really help you to speed up your workflow. Now here's what you need to do. Come up to the uh, Photoshop menus and look for edit. Click on edit and come the whole way down here to the bottom of that uh, menu and see where it says menus, click on menus. And this is the uh, keyboard shortcuts and menus. And this is where you do the modification and color coding. Let me go ahead and make this panel a little bit bigger so we can really see it here. Now, you'll notice here, these are all your menu items here which correspond to these menu items up here at the top. And then you can open up each one of these. For instance, if we open up file, we'll see all the different uh, menu items for the file menu. Now you'll notice we have visibility and you see the little eyeball. Anytime you don't want a menu item to show up, say a menu item that you may never use, all you have to do is shut its eye off. Like if you don't want to use revert, you can shut the eye off and that menu item won't be there. But you can always come back here in this menu, keyboard shortcut and menus panel and turn things back on. And you can also come here, see where it says Photoshop defaults modified. You can also come here and click on Photoshop defaults to set everything back if you want to as well. You also have a drop down menu up here, menu four. Right now we're on application menus and that's what I'm showing you today, but you can also color code your panel menus. And to do that, just click on panel menus and then you'll see all your panel menus. Now, what are the panel menus? That would be things like See where it says layers, these panels right here. If you click this hamburger menu, you'll see these different menus in here. So that would be your panel menus. Or if you clicked on your actions, here's the panel menu for the actions. So you could color code those menus as well if you want to and hide things too there. And then if you go to say, for instance, um, layers, you can click this and open it up. And as you can see, I have like uh, convert to smart object color coded as well as flatten image. And again, if you don't want to see a menu item like edit contents, you can just 
shut the eye off and it'll go away and you can always turn it back on. But for now, let's go back up to application menus because that's really what I want to deal with today. By the way, before I get into the color coding, if you shut off a menu item, let's say browse and bridge, we shut the eye off on that. All right, and we click OK. If we come up here to file, we'll notice we don't see browse and bridge anymore. But if you come down to the bottom of the menu, it says show all menu items. You can just click that and you'll see there's browse and bridge. It comes back up. Or the other thing you can do is hold your command or control key down when you click on a menu, for instance, file, and you will see everything in there as well. But let's go back to edit and let's go to menus. And I'm going to turn my eye back on for browse and bridge and click OK. And now you'll see that it will be back. OK, so that's very important. If you use a lot of like plugins and things like that, like I do like Topaz plugins, Nick plugins, Luminar plugins, you're probably going to want to color code your plugins. So let's go ahead and collapse file for now. All your plugins will live inside of this filter category. So let's open it up and you'll notice I have neural filters color coded in green and I have my liquify tool color coded. Um, I'm working on uh, color coding all my different plugins and things. So if we come down here, you'll notice I have uh, DxO Film Pack 6 color coded. And one of my favorite plugins is Topaz Sharpen AI, which is right here. But before I go ahead and color code this, take a notice here. See, there's a group here called Topaz Labs. Okay, that's the main category. But all these plugins live inside of that particular category. And Sharpen AI, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and click none and change that to green. But the other thing I want to do is label the, the main category, which is Topaz Labs. I'm going to label it green as well. But then I could come in here and label the ones I use a lot, like Topaz Adjust AI. Let's give it a green and let's go to um, Denoise AI, another one I use a lot. Let's make it, I'm going to make it green, but you can change these colors up. If I have plugins that are close together, I may change them. For instance, um, like I use Restyle, so I'm going to go ahead and change this one to red. That way I'll have a red against the green. It'll be easier for me to see. But you can make these whatever colors you want. It's just totally up to you. Let's do a couple more. Here's Topaz Mask AI. Let's make this one orange. And let me come into a different group, like Skylum Software. Let's label the group. I'm going to label it green. And I use Luminar AI from time to time. So I'm going to change it to green. And sometimes I use Luminar 4. I'm going to change it to red. And let's just click OK. So now when I click on my filter menu, Look, you can see the color coding is really going to help me. Like in Blur Gallery, I use the Iris Blur a lot. In DxO Labs, here's DxO Film Pack 6. Uh, of course, I'm going to go and color code some of the Nick Collection stuff here. But Skylum Software, there's Luminar 4, Luminar AI, and Topaz Labs. But you see, I can grab these things really quick and easy. It'll really help you to speed up your workflow. So go ahead and color code your menu items. I know you'll like it. And also, if you want to unclutter your menu, you can get rid of a bunch of stuff in these menus that you really don't use. And it really makes things a lot nicer on the eyes and a lot easier, again, to find things. Well, I hope this quick tip tutorial helps you out today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Hey, don't forget, I have a TK Friday video coming out this Friday. Don't forget, take advantage of all those Black Friday specials. You'll find links, affiliate links in my description below this video that'll take you to all those really great sales. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.